peace family welcome back to the campaign tv show i am your brother king cam now what i want to discuss is the stimulus package or the 2020 uh, coronavirus stimulus package that the united states government passed a bill on just a few days ago that a lot of people have been weighing in chiming in giving their opinions about and i want to go do my reaction uh to that because i find it very interesting all of the, the, the different opinions and the different thoughts that are being put out there. You have a lot of people who like the stimulus package that's being handed out. You know, a lot of us like to have that $1,200 check per adult, and I believe it's 500 per child uh, coming into the home. You have some of us who also believe that this may be free money. You also have those of us who are more focused on the reparations movement and believe this may be a slap in the face for what we are owed for our contribution in building America. So there's so many different perspectives out there, but I want us to kind of think about a few things. One, those of us who believe this is free money, free money, we have to understand that nothing in America is free. There's always going to be a price for whatever it is that they are handing out. So I want us to look at the fact that the United States government is actually $23 trillion in debt. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan has been teaching us the debt that America is in for quite some time now. And while he has taught us about the total debt, he's also broken down the debt that America owes to other nations, specifically China, where she is $1.5 trillion in debt to. Now, China is one of the bigger, biggest exporters and one of our biggest importers of goods and services that we have and we do business with. They import a lot of medications. A lot of medicine either comes through China or from China. A lot of supplies either come from China or through China. So we have a lot of business going through China, but we owe China a lot of money. So I want us to keep in mind that the American dollar is falling as the Honorable Mr. Louis Farrakhan is teaching us. He has also taught us that the economy will crash because this is truly the fall of America, the fall of Babylon, as mentioned in the scriptures. So when you have that understanding, then you see where this is headed and that the dollar has no value there's no gold back in it. There's no silver back in it. There's no natural resource commodities that's back in it. So the money that the United States government has is only money that they print from the Federal Reserve on pieces of paper that we, the people, attach value to. So when you see these trends where digital currency is becoming a new wave and gold is reemerging back on the scene, then you understand and are witnessing the fall of the dollar so it's no free money but what we can do with this stimulus package is use it for something productive those of us who have businesses those of us who are trying to do for self as the most honorable elijah muhammad taught us to do do for self or suffer the consequences while we still have a job to go to, a nine to five to clock in, we should be using the still away method that the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan taught us about. That don't mean go in no job and start stealing stuff or taking stuff, as my brother Ben X would say. That's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is actually using that job to take care of your bills, using that job to make sure you have the necessities and to take care of your children if you have them, but then also taking the extra money and putting it into something on the side. So whatever your business is on the side is, you should be using that money to fund that. You should be paying for marketing. You should be paying for promotion. You should be paying for all type of materials, logos, equipment, all of that kind of stuff so that you could be in business. And now where this stimulus package check comes in handy, it will allow us to get some things that we wasn't able to get and was kind of in between checks or whatever the case may be. So we have to put the money to use. We could use the money to fix or clean up our credit, to purchase a credit line or an authorized user so that we can extend our credit line so we can purchase it 
for business purposes. But all of these different ways are ways that we can use that money productively, understanding that we have to pay it back through our taxes anyway. So this is just my thoughts on the 2020 coronavirus stimulus package. Many people have been talking about it. A lot of different comments, a lot of different uh, conversations have been started on social media. So I want you all to chime in here and let me know some of your thoughts. Peace, family. Assalamu alaikum.